Squarespace video collections have a lot of cool features, but unfortunately, when it comes to the content that is paired with the video on that individual video page, we don't have a lot of options. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to turn a simple text-based link into a clickable button, hover effects and all. As always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'll go ahead and share my screen so I can teach you exactly how to use them in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside a video collection in Squarespace, and let's say in your five tips for beginners video, you'd like to include a button here that gives them a guide to go along with the video. If you hop into edit mode and you select edit video at the top of the screen, you'll be taken to your video content page. There are a couple of ways to get there, but that's a quick one. Now here in the description, we can add all kinds of text, but we can't actually add a button. Let me show you how we can create this using a little bit of custom code. I'm going to add two lines right here, and I'm going to type the words that I want on the button. Download the guide. I'm going to highlight that text, and then clicking this icon right here, I can now select the gear in the link editor and upload a file. I can upload the PDF directly to my Squarespace site. I'm going to drag and drop it right here. It's going to upload this PDF file, and here's a cool option. We can toggle on the ability for the browser to open this PDF in a new tab so they won't go away from the video page. Now make sure you select the checkbox next to the PDF that you've uploaded, and we'll select Save. Now we can select Apply, and we'll see this underlined, meaning the link is active here inside our description. Let's go ahead and select Save, and we can scroll down and see the text-based link on this page once we refresh it. Now if we scroll down here, there we go. Now we can see the active link inside the description. You can see my cursor change, but nothing else is really indicating that's a clickable option. So let's make this look like a button. I'm going to navigate to pages on the left-hand side of my screen, and then I'll select website tools to reach custom CSS. We're gonna add just a little bit of code. Now this entire code is in the description below, but I'm going to explain to you how it works so you understand what parts you'll need to change. I'm gonna paste the whole code right here and immediately we get a button in the description. And check it out, it even has a hover effect. All right, so here's what we did with this code. We gave that active link a background color of solid white. Then we made sure that the font was this color. If you wanna change any of these color values to something that suits the style of your own site, you can adjust that number to a different hex color value or even type in a web safe color name like the word red. See how the font just changed to red? It's all customizable. After that, we've added some padding here. This changes the distance between the text and the edge of the button. 10px is a good value for the font size I was working with, but if you increase this padding, it will make the button larger. Maybe 40px? Okay, that's way too big. And maybe we can try something like 4px. That might be too small. Feel free to customize this until it looks perfect for your own font style that you're working with in your Squarespace site. Then I added a border, which is super customizable and removable. If you don't want a border, just get rid of that line of code or leave it right there. And last but not least, I made the font bold so it stand out even more. Just like the border code or any of these codes, you can remove it and it'll go back to the way that it was. Now this last part of our code right here is what creates the hover effect. I decided to give it a different background color and a different font color on a hover. So that's what happens when we hover over it. And just like this part of the code, feel free to adjust any of these values so they're perfect for your own unique site style. Whatever you've decided to change, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we use to create that button effect inside a video item in a video collection in Squarespace. Make sure you adjust those values so that code matches the unique style of your own website. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. I'm Becca Harpain, Squarespace expert and creator of InsideTheSquare.co, and I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things the Squarespace can do. Check out some of my related videos linked in the description below if you'd like to learn more. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.